What's up everybody? Got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to find the volume of a sphere. Now, I know we can find the volume of a sphere using the formula, but let's find it using a double integral. Okay. All right. So it says use polar coordinates to find the volume of a sphere of radius three. All right. So, so let's go ahead and draw our picture. Kind of get an idea what this thing's going to look like. So there we go. All right. And we know that the uh, equation of this sphere is x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 9. Because we've got a radius of 3 and we centered our sphere at 0, 0. All right. Now, let's look and see what we have in the xy plane. So we've got a circle here. When we look down, it's going to be a circle. And this will be three okay all right now let's let's go ahead and set up our integral and and so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to we're not going to find the, the well when we set up our integral it's not going to the integral is not going to be set up to find the volume of the entire sphere we're going to set the integral up to find the volume of the top half okay all right, so we've got x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 9. And when I say we're going to find the volume of the top half, once we do that, then we can just double that. Okay. All right. And then when we solve for z, we get z squared equals 9 minus x squared minus y squared. So z is equal to 9 minus x squared plus y squared and it's the square root of that all right so i factored out a negative to just to, and then now i've got x squared plus y squared in the parentheses there and yes this when i do the square root it is plus or minus but i'm just going to do the plus because i'm going to just do the top half remember this is z equals the square root of 9 minus x squared plus y squared and this bottom half here is z equals the square root of 9 minus x squared plus y squared. But I'm just going to do the top half. All right. So, so let's go ahead and set up our integral. So we've got the volume is equal to 2 times. All right. So, all right, so I'm setting up the integral for the top half, but then I'm going to double it, because, and then that will give me the uh, volume of the entire sphere. See, if I didn't have the 2, that would just give me the volume of the top half. But then when I multiply by 2, that's going to give me the volume of the entire sphere. Okay. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to integrate the square root of 9 minus x squared plus y squared but I'm going to change this to polar coordinates and we know x squared plus y squared is r squared and then remember it's times r dr d theta and so for r I'm going from what I'm going from 0 to 3 that's 0 to 3 and then for theta I'm going from 0 to 2 pi. We're going all the way around. So that's going to be 0 to 2 pi. All right, so now let's look at integrating this thing. So this is going to be 2 times 0 to 2 pi d theta times 0 to 3 square root 9 minus r squared times r dr. So remember, we can separate those integrals integrate each one of them individually and then multiply our results all right so this one right here is easy to integrate that's just going to be two times theta let me write that theta better theta from zero to two pi all right times this thing all right so for this one 
I'm going to have to use u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal 9 minus r squared. So du is negative 2r dr. All right. So this is going to be the integral. Well, let's, let's look at this first. Notice how du is negative 2r dr. Notice I have the r dr, but I need the negative 2. So if I multiply by negative 2 on the inside, I have to come on the outside and multiply by negative 1 half. And so this is going to be negative 1 half integral. And then I plug the u in for 9 minus r squared. So that's u. And that square root is a 1 half power. And then the negative 2r dr is du. And since I changed my variable from r to u, what do I have to do? Well, I have to uh, change the bounds on my integral. So I've got u equals what? 9 minus r squared. So I got to take the 0 and the 3 and plug it in for r. So that's 9 minus 0 squared, which is 9, and u equals. 9 minus 3 squared, which is 0. So that is 0 to 9. All right. All right. So now, one thing I like to do is I like to have the smaller number on bottom, the larger number on top. So let's swap the bounds. So this is going to be 2 times 2 pi minus 0. I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this, plug in the 2 pi minus 0, and then that's going to be times 1 half 0 to 9 u to the 1 half du. So when you swap the bounds on the integral, it changes the sign in front of the exponent. And so this is going to be 4 pi times 1 half, and that is going to be u to the 3 halves, add 1, multiply by the reciprocal of your new exponent, so that's times 2 thirds, and that's going to be from 0 to 9. And so I'm going to get uh, 4 pi times 1 third, the 2's cancel, and that's going to be 9 to the 3 halves minus 0 to the 3 halves. And so let's see, 9 to the 3 halves, that's 27. So I've got 27 times 4 is 108. So that's going to be 108 pi over 3. Okay? And that's your that's your answer. And if you want to if you want to punch that into your calculator, you can. Uh, well, I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Let's see. 108 pi uh, divided by 3. That is going to be 113.097355. So I guess either one. It doesn't matter. Of course, if you're in my class taking a test, you would leave it like that. Because we don't let them use calculators. All right. All right, so that's that video. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.